One of the reasons I was very interested in this play um, was that in many ways it reminded me of another really great piece of literature, which is Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, um, in a very interesting way. Hey, unshackle her at once. I think one of the things that, that Karen has done is she has taken all these social and political relationships. It was really interesting watching her play and you know watching all these things all compressed into a relationship between six people. I'm on the roof, my girl. The sky above, the earth below. Here I go. Stop. Stop, Jeff. In a sense, she compressed um, a whole decade and hundreds of lives into six lives and showed how that interaction happened. Among the things that are timeless in this are um, the fact that power always loves to hear its own story. Um, it never likes to hear people speak to it. I want you at the helm of deep water. Abbas, principles you have. Your hands are squeaky clean. The private sector is the place to be. I want you on the deep water team. I think you all agree that was a very, very powerful performance. I know that I work on these issues every day, uh, but still to witness the actual performance, it really brought back a lot of memories for me. And you know, being in New York on 9-11 and experiencing that and you know, the way that our country has changed since then. Watch them scramble, watch them fail. Bet against their losses yourself. Regulation is passe. Glass-Steagall in the toilet flush. <laughs> David Abbas's character is an amalgam of, of different experiences and, and different people um, and expectations of, uh, that led to, to torture. For example, you're a torturer and you come home a family man, you know. Um, and that's something that uh, we don't sort of factor into what happens to people who engage in or are expected to participate in um, coercive interrogation, harsh interrogation, torture, call it what you will. My God, I was against all this. I promised myself I never would. You think I wanted to beat him to a pulp? You think I don't know what a man can become? This play is a kind of amazing catharsis of the kind that we need much more of in public space. We need theater. Part of going, going to one of Karen's plays is to feel, and to feel enormously, and to feel about it, and to think, oh my God, that really is what's going on. That really is what we're doing. I lost close friends at the Pentagon. We are tainted, you and I. Sometimes, Lucia, I think it's more difficult to survive. I would love it if, if everyone in the country could see plays like this instead of shows like 24. I, I think it would do more than a million marches of a million people. I think it would end wars and torture. This play is so important because um, it, it's simply giving a forum for the truth to be told about, about what's happened in these 10 years. It is possible to run a humane facility, my part where I call the shots. Here in Baghdad, but not Afghanistan. You saw me at my worst. You don't have to explain. Let me tell you a bit about what I do, because it really informs how I saw uh, the play tonight. So since 2005, uh, my students and I have represented prisoners um, at Guantanamo, um, at Bagram Air Base in Afghanistan, which was one of the prisons where part of the play was set. Um, I think that's why perhaps the, this play is particularly powerful, because the dimensions of the play that are less concrete and, and more fused with fantasy are the ones that really still speak powerfully and, and, and are able to most uh, effectively convey um, you know, what's, what's extreme and what's radical about this historical experience and, what's, and its full monstrosity. My blood mandatory now for all bleeped straight into all heads right loud. These are the kinds of, of efforts, artistic efforts, that, that hit people in the gut. I'm being now brought into the experience, almost as if it is happening to me. And the it is happening to me 
aspect is so, so important, especially when the people that it is in fact happening to are other than us. Their hair and lips were covered, but their shapely noses and white eyes were available to view. And the physio could see that the slave women came from all races. The play ends with the story of a whistleblower. And it's important to recognize how important the whistleblowers were in the course of the last um, uh, decade. But it's also important to realize how persecuted the whistleblowers continue to be. Yes, I released to the press the confidential Red Cross report detailing the systematic and rampant torture and cruel and inhumane treatment of innocent prisoners at Abu Ghraib. That amazing moment at the beginning of the play when, when Tess describes, describes the, you know, the, the feeling shortly after 9-11 here in New York. We were all here. We all remember this feeling, this moment of sort of strange openness. Maybe now we can open ourselves to the suffering in the world. If this could happen, then the terrible thing would be undone. Thank you for that remarkable and really wrenching play. I just want to congratulate you and give one more round of applause.